This tutorial is about CenterView data funnels and specifically the Business Objects Connector which allows us to extract data from a Business Objects Universe into a CenterView data funnel. So we'll create a new data funnel using our toolbar data funnel button. We will select the in a business objects universe as where our data is coming from. We will pick an alias which we have previously built. We highly recommend using an alias so that your credentials and connection information can be localized into a single place. We will select the E Fashion Universe. Here is the Center View Visual Query Builder for our Business Objects Connector. It is very similar to the Business Objects Webby interface, if you're familiar with that. So we can create quickly a query by double clicking on store name. It will add it to the result object. And we can pick a measure of the sales revenue. And then when we preview it, we will see each store followed by its revenue. If we want to, we could alter the query by saying, I'm also interested in the lines, the product lines per store. Now when we preview the query, we will notice that each store has, there are several stores, each store has a product line and the revenue for that product line at that store we may be interested in only product line in only a specific product line like city skirts now when we preview we will only have the city skirt lines the product lines we can then since we don't need lines we can highlight the lines object and hit the delete key to remove that at which case we now have each store and its sales revenue for city skirts. And that is the business object connector.